Hi, it's me again, and I'll just bring this a little bit closer. Jasper Ford's The Constant Rabbit that I finished on Kindle uh, a little while ago. Um, I don't know if, if you've read Jasper Ford, he is, um, he, t he takes a very odd way of looking at things. He, he, he sort of encapsulates society uh, and makes you look at it in, in different ways. That, that, that's my opinion anyway. This one, it's set after a great event. In 1965, there was some weird event that anthropomorphized rabbits. Suddenly they were human sized, they could talk, they could walk, they could drive, they became human. Um, as far as a rabbit can become human. And it's, the story of, it, it makes uncomfortable, and sometimes it gives you a sort of uncomfortable feeling. And it's, should rabbits have rights? Aye, they, they can walk, they can talk, they can discuss. So, so they're like us. But they have their own culture. They have their own religion. And this is where you suddenly start thinking, mm, it starts getting a little bit uncomfortable. You know, you start thinking about what's happening in society now. And you start thinking, oh, you know, is, is he making a point here? And, and he is making a point. It's the story of Arthur. Sorry, it's not Arthur. It's Peter, Peter Knox, and who is working for Rabcott, who is... Uh, the rabbit task, task, task force and his next door neighbour dies and he moves in um, Pip, uh, Constant, Constance Rabbit and her husband and their two children. The rabbits come into the village of Much Wenlock and suddenly you have the village up in arms because this village is desperate to win this Spick and Span award and how can it if there's rabbits there? So it's a drive to get the rabbits out. Nationally, there is a movement to move the rabbits out into a separate mega warren, get all the rabbits into one place. It's, it does make uncomfortable reading. He's examining, in my opinion, he's examining Middle England and everybody's nice and polite, but underneath, there's this, this viciousness and, and so, you know, he's, he's showing that underneath there can be this viciousness. Peter finds that he can't be friends with the rabbits and friends with the community. He, he's almost got to make a choice. Um, and it's about Peter's growth as a character. Peter personifies the silent majority those who stand back, watch what goes on, disagree with it, but say nothing. And that's, I think, what Jasper Ford is showing us here, that it's not enough just to think it. Maybe we should be taking action and stopping it. It's no use arguing, sort of saying, oh, well, you know, things like that shouldn't happen and then doing nothing and allowing these things to happen. It wasn't, yeah, I enjoyed it. He's a brilliant writer and, and uh, I do like his, his books and, and this one, again, his writing is just superb. So if you've read it, let me know what you think. And uh, if you like my video, like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time.